I'd just like to make the point that every moment is a miracle. Now, that sounds like easy language, but let's, let's just uh, think about an example for, for the moment. Let's say uh, you and friends are having a pizza. Uh, what was responsible for bringing that moment into existence? What are all the various factors that made that moment possible? Not just uh, what you all were doing that day, but you're eating a pizza that has ingredients, and those ingredients were affected by things like the weather during the season in which the tomatoes grew. And if you look at every factor in the scene, you'll find absolutely unfathomable causes and dimensions you can't even point to. So in many ways, the, the question doesn't arise because it can't be answered. Now, so often what people try to do is to find a formula to make sure that this moment can happen again or make sure this moment doesn't happen again. And there's a little practical value to doing that, but finally, you don't have that much control. Nobody does. The only thing that's really of any value is to appreciate the moment for the miracle it is and for being here for the miracle that that is and the fact that you can experience this moment. And experience is one of the greatest miracles of all. So here you are having this experience and it's all miraculous. And the way to understand it, the way to plummet its depths, the way to, to really assimilate it, is by asking yourself who you are and what you're all about and knowing yourself. And in that connection, the connection of knowing yourself, I'd like to mention this excellent book called Know Yourself. I hope you'll find it a lot of help. Let me know.